dear students today we will solve one example in chapter structure of balance sheet for class first year bcom semester 1 veer narmad south gujarat university here is the question from the following balances of dk limited as on 31st march 2018 find the following items as per the schedule 3 of the companies act 2013 with proper sub heads first shareholders fund second current liabilities third non current assets and fourth current assets particulars of financial data loose tools computer software advertisement suspense account accrued interest on investments office equipments equity share capital mortgage loan creditors creditors for expenses staff welfare fund machineries 12% investments in d limited stores and spare parts cash in bank debtors 8% preference share capital general reserve bills payable cash credit and provision for taxation from this financial data we are to work out shareholders fund current liabilities non current assets and current assets so first of all we need classification of all the financial items and then we will work out our required calculations from these financial data we found advertisement suspense account rupees 30000 equity share capital rupees 15 lakh 8% preference share capital rupees 5 lakh 50000 and general reserve rupees 4 lakh 15000 these four items belong to shareholders fund now let us work out shareholders fund particulars and amount first component of shareholders fund is share capital in which we have equity share capital rupees 15 lakh 8% preference share capital rupees 5 lakh 50000 so our total capital amounts to rupees 20 lakh 50000 second component b reserve and surplus in this financial data we have general reserve 4 lakh 15000 and advertisement suspense account 30000 dear students advertisement suspense account is a fictitious assets of the company and while calculating reserves and surplus it will be considered as unamortized advertisement suspense account and will be deducted from reserves so from general reserve 4 lakh 15000 30000 will be deducted so net amount of reserve and surplus comes to 3 lakh 85000 there is no other information related to shareholders fund and finally 20 lakh 50000 plus 3 lakh 85000 and we get 24 lakh 35000 as shareholders fund our second requirement is current liabilities by observing the financial data we get creditors creditors for expenses staff welfare fund bills payable cash credit and provision for taxation which belong to current liabilities now let us classify all these items of current liabilities into suitable sub heads and for current liabilities our first sub head is short term borrowings and from these data we may get cash credit as a short term borrowing rupees 
5000 then b second component of current liabilities is trade payables and in trade payables we will have creditors rupees 140000 and bills payable rupees 28500 and total 168500 third component of current liabilities other current liabilities in which we have creditors for expenses rupees 36000 this is nothing but our outstanding expenses and last subhead of current liabilities is short term provisions and we have staff welfare fund rupees 85000 and provision for taxes in rupees 26250 and total short term provisions amount to rupees 111250 and finally by adding 75000 plus 168500 plus 36000 plus 111250 we get current liabilities of the company worth rupees 390750 our next requirement is non current assets from the above information we may get computer software office equipments machineries and 12% investments in d limited which belong to non current assets item of the balance sheet now let us classify them into subheads non current assets first subhead a tangible fixed assets and we have machineries worth rupees 18 lakhs and office equipments worth rupees 4 lakh 80600 and there is no other information like depreciation for machinery or office equipments otherwise we would deduct that depreciation from value of the assets and finally we get tangible fixed assets rupees 22 lakh 80600 now second subhead is intangible fixed assets and from in information we have computer software which belong to intangible fixed assets category and that is 83250 our third subhead of non current assets is non current investments and we have 12 percent investments in d limited rupees 245000 and now by adding tangible fixed assets 22 lakh 80600 plus intangible fixed assets 83250 plus non current investments rupees 2 lakh 45000 we get total non current assets rupees 26 lakh 8850 our last requirement is current assets and in financial data we have loose tools accrued interest on investments stores and spare parts cash in bank and debtors which belong to current assets category now let us classify them into different subheads our first subhead for current asset is current investments and there is no information so it is nil our second subhead is inventories and for inventories we have loose tools rupees 163000 stores and spare parts rupees 1200 so total amount of inventories 263200 next subhead is trade receivables and we have debtors rupees 190000 and there is no bills receivable so our trade receivable total amounts to rupees 190000 next is cash and cash equivalents and for that we have cash in bank rupees 23000 our next subhead is other current assets and for that we have accrued interest on investments rupees 51000 so by adding inventories trade receivables cash and cash equivalents and other current assets we will get total current assets which amounts to rupees 5 lakh 27200 that's all dear students thank you very much for watching this video lecture
very soon we will meet with another example of same chapter